Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Continuing on from last time, we are going to keep looking at doing some decent biofuel. Now, I'll apologize in advance. The frame rate is pretty terrible with this many plants here. I've turned all of the mip mapping off. The, the lighting is down to the minimum level. I could probably turn the lighting smoothing off, but then it looks a bit too ugly for me. Uh, particles don't seem to make much of a difference in this one. Um, but yeah, all these plants and crop sticks are just, yeah, pretty horrible. So as you can see, I've made a giant X pattern and this is just so that I can, you know, I just, all I have to do is put another set of crop sticks down like that, give it a bit of a water and usually another, another crop will, ah, oh, we got weeds that time, but you get the idea anyway. That's what I've been doing to get both that and this planted now that I've swapped the, uh, swapped the dirt out for, um, for sand for the uh for the crops for the uh sugar cane sorry so what i thought about do today is we'll get the harvesters actually working we'll try and sort out the uh what are we going to need for these we're going to need the fermenters so we're going to need a bunch of these blocks here uh lots of pistons some iron components we're going to need a ton of iron uh, blue yeah we've got heaps of that so i'm thinking that i'm going to start with four of these yeah four seems pretty good i honestly think we could probably do eight uh but what i'll do to begin with is i'll make a bank of four i'll extend this room out put four of them along here we'll try and get this plumbed in and see what we can do about getting uh getting some of the sugar being harvested i don't even think i'm going to need to fill in the rest of the sugar i i really think i've overkilled <laughs> this quite a bit uh i'm not sure on the numbers yet so let me go away i'll make a bunch of fermenter blocks and all the other light engineering blocks and bits and pieces that i need and we'll be back and we'll get this hooked up and just see how well it performs so see you in a little bit okie dokie we have cleared out a bit more space as you can see i have the green grid up uh, just because one of the things i tried to do is i lined this up at the corner of that chunk over there because that is where i've finished chunk loading so i do have a world anchor in this chunk which does a three by three around it so i thought i'd maximize my space by having it out there uh, i've also turned it on just so that i know exactly how far i can go so let's just turn that off now the other thing i found is turning the sprinklers off did actually fix the lag problem so it does seem to be a graphical lag issue with the sprinklers now you can't actually change you've only got particles minimal decreased or full so there's not really any setting that lets you lets you fix fix this so i don't know what i'm going to do about that i might leave the sprinklers in i might end up going back to the you know having nine little pools of water around the place to keep everything irrigated doesn't really matter too much for this i think we got on a big enough scale that it's not going to matter too much um, up here of course we do lose our lovely um, till land unfortunately uh, so we'll have to do that again if i turn these back on anyway I've also managed to make a ton of stuff. So we have 76, yep, 76 light engineering blocks, 32 fermenter blocks, uh, and this should be enough to make uh, what I think was four of these. So I was gonna go one, two, three, and then have a gap of two, one, two, three, gap of two, one, two, three, gap of two, and one, two, three. Whew. Okay, so that's gonna be a pretty good pretty good indication of where we're going to be and this is where we're going to put them so my plan was to duplicate this above with the squeezer the industrial squeezers and then we'll do uh potentially i don't know we'll put the refineries over here somewhere i think i'll clear the roof out between the two layers and make this one big open area um and then we can just sort of plumb everything in. It'll look nice and industrial. And then from here, we'll go to the refineries and go to the generators over in this corner somewhere um, where we can run some cables back up to the top. Anyway, here are our, here are our fermenters. So let's, oops that far so once we get all these done okay. 
Let's just do these at the top so that we can get to them from the bottom. We should just have enough. Now this took an absolute ton of iron and copper to the point that I pretty much have used up all of my copper and nearly all of my nearly all of my iron. So I'm gonna have to mine a bit before we do anything else. There we go. One, two, three, four. Look at that. Awesome. So now what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to plumb in some of the items. Now I think it'll be good to run these along the back maybe yeah or maybe under the no, I don't really want to go under unfortunately so let's just plumb some of these in first uh, we're gonna need to go to here now I'm gonna need to make more of these item ducts as well so let's just Put some power here. Now we need power. Let's do receive. Cool. So we've got our emerald upgrades in here already. Oh, and you can see it's doing some stuff. Wow. So it's going to be shoving a ton of this out the back. It should fill up all of these. Well, as far as I can get to anyway. One, two, three, four. Whoa, look at that. Oh, why can't I put one there? Ah, I have the light there. That's cool. So let's just put the light back there. Cool. Now, if we wanted to, we could grab the, um, grab the wrench here and just make it a bit prettier by removing, removing the extra, extra bits. Cool. And I actually want it to appear like it's going all the way around the back. So let's just do that. Awesome. So this is now going to merrily harvest all of this stuff. Uh, it'll fill all the way along all four of these. Now the thing I'm not sure about is how balanced this is going to be. See, this is going to... Wow. That's cool. So this is going to harvest all of this. And by the time it gets back to the start, look, we've really got one that's yeah, 70 of a cent. So we might even be basically constantly harvesting or have enough there to constantly harvest it even more once I fill the rest of the space in. So that one's full. That one's full. That one. Yeah, we haven't quite got to that one yet. So it looks like with the X pattern here, we should probably have enough in one full harvest to fill four of these, which is just crazy. So... It's definitely, uh, now I had some flux ducts on me. Those have obviously gone somewhere. Um, up and one more. So we have, oops. It's an energy flux duct, cool. Let's grab a stack of those. Groovy. Now uh, where are we going down? Cool. So I've decided to use these instead this time around. Um, I don't know. I could have I could have used the. Oops. Now I need to hold shift. Um, I could have used the engineering ones, the the immersive engineering ones, but to be honest. They just seemed a bit unwieldy for this. They look cool when you're in sort of an outdoor setting, but for here, I think we're just gonna go with the Old Faithful. And one more and come out this way. Cool, so for now this is all I'm going to use. I'm just going to use power like this. This is now happily making some ethanol. And we haven't quite gotten to the last one yet. 
So it looks like, yeah, it looks like we're going to need to plant a few more of these, but that's cool. This is going to keep harvesting away and putting these into here. Fantastic. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to duck off again now. Um, now that we've sort of done the proof of concept, I'll get the rest of the iron and copper we need. We'll make the industrial squeezes for the floor above. I'll probably knock out the rest of this floor so that we can see both floors uh, in, their entire, in, in their entirety so that we can um, plumb in fact, we'll probably just run the liquid pipe through the front of this and down to that. Ah, that'll look pretty good. All right, so let's do that. All right, I'll be back in a minute once we've done all of this sort of sorting out. But this is looking, this is shaping up to be quite a nice, uh, big, tidy build. Cool. See you in just a bit. Okay, one small mountain of iron and copper later, and we have four each of the squeezers and the fermenters. So now that this is... Yeah, these are all nice and full. The other ones are all not quite uh, in operation yet. I still need to do the power, actually. So let's just do that now. Now, one of the things I really wanted to do with this build in particular is to also take care of the sludge. So one of the things I've built also while I'm away is the sludge boiler. Uh, what are we doing? Let me just hook this up. Now, this is going to go... You know what? It's probably going to be better to hook... Oh, I don't really want that to be there. You know what? I'm going to hook it up a different way. Wow! Look at all the seeds. <laughs> so we've got the cyclic assembler there, which is there hooking the, um, it's got the melon pattern uh, that we've made, but same as we made it before anyway. Uh, the melons go into the seeds, so seeds are racing through there. This has got no power yet, so that's not gonna do anything just yet. Now I do want to put the power there. That's where I wanted, just to have it nice and matching should be a shorter distance going this way there we go awesome so now we're getting some of that so what I've also managed to do is I've made these things called flux plated fluid ducts now these things are pretty awesome as you can see there I've got one here and one here and what they seem to do although it's a bit laggy looking up and down um, is they transport the sludge one way and the power the other way so they can do power and sludge all at once now this here we have set for liquids here so we're sending liquids that way and we're receiving power so what I wanted to do oh, I don't know why that's so laggy I think it's just all these seeds <laughs> all right so now that that's there let's let's seal this up so we've got a bit of a walkway at least. Now I reckon this is laggy just because there's so many seeds uh, filling all of these up. Yep, so that's going to be a while. So I've got a dimensional transceiver and a sludge boiler. So we're going to want to put this somewhere far away because it does tend to be quite nasty. Now what I wanted to do was put it probably out, out over here somewhere. Now this is where we can get a little bit tricky. So I might build it a, actually it needs to be in the chunk loaded area. So the chunk loaded area is this chunk and then these two, maybe over by the windmill. So it's uh, actually, you know, it's these, these ones here. So yeah, we can potentially put it over Over the back here now let's just view our chunk boundary so we know where we can get to so this is the chunk that we can go to so let's put it all the way over here somewhere I might build a little house to go around it at some point so if we put that there and where is the output of it oh, we don't know all right, and put that there. Now, this can be set to 
we can send items, which is the items that it produces. We can receive sludge, which it's now received. And we can also receive power. So there we go. This should now work Ooh, and hurt me, <laughs> but it should also send the items back through. So if we go here, now this is the buffer. Where is it? There we go. We should see in there anyway. I'm going to leave that for a while because that's really hurting me. Hunger, poison, not good. So I can just click on it. Buffering item sets, configure IO. So this is still working. It's working its way through the sludge, but I haven't seen any items yet. So maybe those items are going through. I would have thought it would be, um, you know, blocked up and not actually doing anything if it couldn't send the items. So we'll leave that there for now anyway, and see how we're going. Now, what that will have done though, is it would have sped up all the stuff down here because without any sludge these things run a lot faster now let's just have a look how far we're along yep so we've got some melon seeds there still got some more seeds to get cool so that's now going a bit faster now that we're not bogged down with a million seeds in there awesome so that's all hunky dory so now we've got full plant oil, full ethanol in both of those stacks. And that's probably where it's a good time for me to end this episode. Um, we've taken care of our sludge. We've got the harvesters working, power's hooked up, everything else is hooked up. Uh, we do need to hook up, where are we? The fluid ducts. So this is where we're gonna pipe the fluid off, off the front and pipe it off to somewhere. So that's gonna be the ethanol and then we'll do the plant oil off this side as well. Uh, next episode, I will come back for another episode to do the, um, slightly darker there. Uh, we'll come back to, to do another episode to do the refinery and the uh, generators, just because I have got like no iron left and it's gonna take me quite some time to build up um, enough iron. Each one of, or each row of these sort of took something like seven or 800 iron. So I used, you know, 1500, 1600 iron just making these eight items or these eight multi-blocks. Pretty crazy stuff. Anyway, that looks like a good place to stop. So as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.